This is my Wilma avocado tree. A lot of people, when I tell people I'm growing avocados in Texas, they say, I didn't know you can grow avocados in Texas, but uh, apparently you can. Uh, this, until just a few minutes ago, had three avocados on it. Uh, one here came off last week. The one over here came off this morning. I noticed it was uh, in the dirt. And this one down here is still hanging on. I planted this tree this year, April 2011, and did not expect any avocados on there. Uh, they did three did show up, so I just kind of let them be and and to see what happened. I wasn't expecting to get any fruit, but uh, it was kind of fun to watch them grow. Uh, one trick that I learned to to uh, planting avocados, which is really important, is you need to plant them high. And when I say high, um, I don't mean like the the apple tree where you plant the roots. You know, maybe a, a a little bit above the ground, but I planted this so all the roots were above the ground. It helped it to not uh, drown, and it's doing really well. Um, this doesn't have bark, so it can get sunburn. And last year, my other tree that I planted too deeply and died, um, I, I wrapped it with sunblock uh, with a cage around it, and it still died. And this one I haven't wrapped, and it looks nice and healthy. Leaves look good. I'm still getting lots of new growth. So you can grow avocados. I picked this particular variety because it's supposed to produce well and have good tasting fruit. Uh, avocados, you know, I've got everything here on my property to make some great guacamole and salsa. So hopefully in a couple more years this will start really producing and uh, be able to enjoy avocados. We have avocados almost every day in our salads. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you get an avocado. I hope you're in an environment where you can grow avocado. If not, find what works in your area and be a, let's all be a Johnny Appleseed wherever we go, even if we're renting. If we've got a backyard or front yard, we could put in an oak tree or a pine tree or something like that, but why not put in a fruit tree? If you don't want it, I'm sure the birds will love them. Uh, your neighbors will love it if you want to share it with them or if they just want to come over and you just invite them to have them. I told my neighbors anything that grows over the fence, they're welcome to have. So uh, consider putting in a, a, some fruit tree on your property and uh, maybe you're planting for the next generation. Who knows? This is LDS Prepper out.